It's a beautiful day. I'm enjoying having the door open. I've got my plants out. This is one benefit of lockdown, I suppose, being able to sit back and enjoy the beautiful weather. Well, kind of. I mean, I'm currently sat in my living room looking at this beautiful weather because I don't have a garden. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to be bitter. There is also a problem with this, and that is that we can get complacent and lazy, sitting back, enjoying it, feeling like we shouldn't go out, we shouldn't exercise because we're being told to stay indoors. But that's no excuse. Today's video, guys, is going to be me going through and going over uh, some of the things that I've been doing to maintain my health, my fitness, and to stay in shape whilst on lockdown. I have been doing all kinds of different things that don't require any equipment, they don't require a gym, and I'm gonna take you through them now. So, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. This channel is growing, it's only small at the moment, but it's gonna get bigger, I am determined, and I love putting out videos for you. Smash that like button, just smash it. And let's get into the video. So the first thing that I've been doing a lot of is running. Now, I'm not gonna go too much into this because I've done a whole video on running and I expect I'll probably do a few more. Uh, I will stick a tag to that video above. So if you're interested in um, improving your running, go and check that video out. Uh, but the, there's a couple of reasons why I do it. First of all, um, I was doing it a lot because obviously with lockdown rules, I was limited to where I could go. I couldn't go and see friends. I live by myself. so. Getting out and going for a run, putting music on, it was great, it kept me fit, it kept me healthy, it improved my cardiovascular endurance, uh, and it also improved my mental health. And obviously, with the weather as beautiful it is, as it is at the moment, it also gave me a great opportunity to, to go out and enjoy the weather uh, and enjoy my local area. So running has definitely been something that I've done a lot of. Yeah, just getting outside, keeping fit, keeping active, trying to make the most of the outdoors while you can even though we're on lockdown. Yeah. The second thing, guys, involves a small space inside, or if you've got a garden, again, I'm not gonna be bitter. <laughs> Use your garden. And that is like a small hit workout. And I'm gonna show you one of those in a second. I've also been teaching or doing a fitness style workout once a week with my jiu-jitsu club. Again, if you, if you, if you know and you've caught up with this channel, uh, I am a, a, a jiu-jitsu instructor, I'm a martial artist, so normally we would be training in our dojo twice a week, but while on lockdown, we have resorted to virtual sessions, which have basically been um, hip workouts that are martial arts themed. So there's like punching drills, spot, shadow boxing, kicking, things like that. I am just going to be doing it in my little area here, my living room. Obviously, like I say, if you've got a garden, you can go out and enjoy the sun and do it in your garden as well. Stick some music on and just take some inspiration from this video. Don't feel like you need to track exactly what I'm doing in this video, but this is a really, really good way of staying in shape. Put on a timer and let's do some hit. Get a stopwatch, get a timer, time yourself, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off or something similar. Right, I'm gonna get into this, but I need to get changed. So let's do that. That's better. I'm in my workout stuff and I'm ready to go. So with these workouts, I sort of split them up into groups based on body parts. So I usually start off with my legs and I'll do a, choose a selection of exercises to work my legs. I'll do a core and a back section. I'll do it and then I'll do like a pressing section, like an arm section and a chest section. Uh, and often if I'm doing it with my martial arts club, I'll also throw some sort of martial arts drills in there too. Now I am going to do a few of those within this workout. Don't worry, you don't have to know any martial arts to be able to do them. Now what I tend to do is I have a tablet here. I will stick a timer on the tablet and I will keep an eye on that and I will do each exercise for 30 seconds and then switch. Each group or each cluster, so if I'm doing legs, I might do three or four exercises um, for legs. I'll do 30 seconds each, then I'll take a 30 seconds pause, break, rest, go back in, same thing. I usually do this twice for each round um, and then I'll move on. So that's the plan, that's what I'm gonna get into. Let's do it. I also do a little warm up, which usually consists of like a minute of high knees, jogging on the spot, um, star jumps, squats, that kind of thing. Something that's high paced, quick, gets the blood flowing, gives you a little bit of a sweat. Yeah. Right, straight into our legs, let's go.
Okay guys, so that is set one done. For each exercise, as I said, 30 seconds. The objective is for it to be high intensity for you. You wanna try and get as many good quality reps done as possible. Try not to pause. I know sometimes, especially at the beginning with those squats and those jumps, your legs are gonna be burning and screaming. But try your best to keep on going. If you need to slow down, that's fine. But keep on pushing, keep on pushing, keep on pushing. So that's the legs done. Now we're gonna move into some core. All right guys, so as I said, um, some of these exercises are gonna be martial arts focused. If you don't wanna do them, that's absolutely fine. You can pull them out, you can switch them with different things. You can add crunches, plank holds, all sorts of different kind of things to these. 30 seconds of each, do that whole block, take a 30 second break, do the whole block again, take a minute, minute and a half, maximum two minute break. Right, upper body, let's do it. Okay, there we go guys. So that is sort of the hit workout done. You can add other things in, as I say, it's completely modifiable, but that's like essentially what I would do. The only other thing, which arguably is probably as important, if not more so than the exercise, is what you do in the kitchen. Now, I've spoken about this recently uh, in a couple of videos. I'm gonna do a video on it fully at some point soon, but uh, I've recently joined up to Herbalife Nutrition. Uh, I have a variety of Herbalife products here. I've got some more on order that come in soon. Um, what I have started doing is I have, uh, I'm having a, a shake every morning for breakfast of Herbalife Nutrition Formula One. I have the vanilla Formula One and I have got the mint chocolate. This is insane, this stuff. This tastes like mint chocolate chip ice cream. And if you're anything like me, you love mint chocolate chip ice cream, it's insane. But these are super good for you, they're super healthy. They have tons and tons of minerals, um, vitamins. Uh, they've got all of your essential um, fatty acids. They've got carbohydrates, fat, proteins, fiber. These are excellent. They've got a whole variety of different products. What with it being really hot as well at the moment, I'm also using the herbal aloe vera concentrate juice drink. This stuff is mango flavor. You add a few drops of it to your water, it flavors your water, which means it encourages you to want to drink more and stay hydrated rather than drinking alcohol in this beautiful weather or drinking fizzy drinks and things like that. So yeah, this stuff is awesome. So I usually have those for breakfast. Obviously the, uh, the aloe vera drink I will put in my water bottle or I will have with, with, some, with some cold icy water. Really good for your hydration. You want to keep as hydrated as you can, especially with the, the weather being as lovely as it is at the moment, if you're outside especially. So yeah, so Herbalife has definitely helped. Aside from uh, my breakfast and taking Herbalife products, I, I try to keep my diet as simple as possible. My problem is, is I love snacking. I can't help it. And I think while on lockdown, everyone has this tendency, if you're sat at home, to gravitate towards the fridge or your cupboards and to snack. Uh, try not to, I know it's easier said than done, but try and keep your food as simple as possible. Anyway, I'm not gonna keep harping on about nutrition because there is tons of information out there about that. Um, and I, I can always do another video more targeted at nutrition. I will do when it comes to Herbalife anyway. My biggest tip is to try and keep it simple. Like I say, good protein sources, lots of good veggies and um, some, some, some good carbohydrates, you know, th natural carbohydrates, things like rice, potatoes, things like that. All right, guys, uh, that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of these, again, smash, hit, 
demolish that like button. Comment down below if you want to see anything in particular. If you want more martial arts style videos, I can put those out. That's absolutely fine. Um, I can always talk to you through some of the martial arts drills I would do with my club. That's also fine. And again, please hit that subscribe button if you are new or you've caught up with a couple of these videos and you like them. All right, guys. Enjoy this weather, try and stay fit and healthy so that we come out as a healthier, as healthier, happier individuals when lockdown is over and we are back to normal life, whatever that's gonna look like. All right, see you very soon, guys. Peace.